President Trump brings China back to the negotiating table after several weeks of a stalemate on trade. One America's Christian Rose has more. We had a positive meeting, very positive, on trade with President Xi of China. President Trump signals a major breakthrough in trade talks with China after a meeting with Xi Jinping at a recent G20 forum in Japan. The president says the sides agreed to restart the faltering talks, accompanied by minor concessions on both sides. China is expected to increase purchases of American farming products for the duration of the talks, while the U.S. will delay new tariffs on Chinese goods and partially lift restrictions on tech giant Huawei. We'll see what happens, but it was a great meeting. And again, no hurry. All these people, they hurry with these deals. They turn out to be disasters. No hurry, no real speed. President Trump has taken a cautious stance on China, saying Huawei will only be able to sell products that don't jeopardize U.S. national security. But his announcement raised concern among some U.S. lawmakers, alleging the concession on Huawei might be too much, particularly in the wake of belligerent statements by China. Yet experts echo President Trump's assessment of the latest talks, with the prevailing sentiment being, we'll see. Really what this has done is really bring the parties back to the bargaining table. Compared to where we were in early May, this is, you could say, back to square one. Really, we've lost about six to seven weeks with nothing much happening. I think the sticky issues still remain. For his part, White House economic advisor Larry Kudlow dismissed the concerns over the U.S. lifting some restrictions on Huawei. In an interview Sunday, he says President Trump is not offering general amnesty to malicious Chinese entities and is only seeking to bring China back to the negotiating table. Economists believe President Trump has sought to prevent further escalation in bilateral tensions, but the U.S. is unlikely to concede on major issues. Key areas uh, of national security concern would be in tech alone. Now, that's big and it's important, um, and I would argue um, that it is not uh, inevitable that we're going to have any decoupling at all. This is a multidimensional problem which defies easy or quick resolution. And yet, despite all the caution and skepticism, President Trump believes his approach could produce a deal with China. He insists on reducing the trade deficit with China and aims to protect American industries and national security going forward. The president also says the U.S. will continue to collect additional revenue from existing 25 percent tariffs on China, preventing inflation from going up. We're moving along toward a uh, reciprocal but a good trade deal, a fair trade deal, and we'll see where that goes. Both the White House and Beijing have yet to provide details on how trade talks will proceed. But President Trump is cautiously optimistic, saying the U.S. is winning either way, due to the strength of the domestic economy and less exposure to overseas risks. Christian Rose, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.